if you're a Nigerian, a Ghanaian, a Cameroonian, it doesn't matter anywhere you're from, and you still believe in this church pastors and Christianity, man, you're in for a rude awakening, and the Most High will destroy you sooner or later. Now, before I start this lesson, I would like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, Yahweh Shai. His true name is Yahweh Shai. The world ignorantly calls him Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names, but his true name is Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing his gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shalom, which means peace unto you, also to the few sisters who are sincerely seeking his truth. It's the brother Yaraya Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this quick lesson on this title, um, on this video actually that I'm going to play. And hopefully it's going to be edifying to the spirit and power of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So as I was saying at the beginning of the lesson, you know, most especially in West Africa, these people don't really know their origin. They don't know they come from the land of Israel. They don't know they are the lost tribes of Israel, you know, but they go by the different names that they are, that they are, um, um, they are colonizers, their so-called colonizers, their slave masters have given them. So they are lost. Now, if you really need understanding on this, on the history of this and the precepts from the Bible on this, you can go check on the channel. I've done various lessons on this, or you can drop a comment and, you know, through the spirit and power of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai will give you a response. Now, let me play this video so you can see. The key, reveal the master key of Jesus. Reveal the master key, Lord. I need it. Your children are suffering. Your children are crying. Business are not moving forward. Father, I need it. Papa, marriages are not miscarriages and the rest. Father, some are looking for children. Some are looking for marriage. Some are now, they want to make it in life. Some want to go to abroad. Some of their documents have died down. They lock them down. Oh Lord. Father, I need the key of David. Lord. Release really that really to me. Release really that. Release really the keys of David to me. Release really the key of David to me. In order to now. Jerry Meyer, my humble servant. I have heard your cry. I have given you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. It is the master key. With it, whatever you bind here on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth will be lose in heaven. Go and give it to my children. As they follow your instructions, they will succeed and testify. Ah, Lord, I thank you for the grace you have now released unto me in order to set your people free. In order to deliver your people, your children that who are in bondage. Lord, I can see the keys of David. It is written. Whatever thing that been locked right in heaven, no man can open it. And whatever thing that be open right in heaven, no man can be locked it up. Father, I have seen the Lord, the greatness of the Lord, and the grace of the Lord. I've seen the keys of David right in my hand. Oh my God. My God. God, you have done it. Now it is time for you to come over this program. Brethren, come and receive your key. The authority has been given to me. Who is that person that locked you down? Who is that person? You are a pastor. Your ministry is not moving forward. Come over. You are a businesswoman. Your ministry, your businessman. Your business is not moving I, at first when i saw this video i thought it was a comedy skit but i found out that it wasn't a comedy skit man it was really a a, a real a real thing man 
And this man that you just see right here is a very famous pastor in Nigeria, one of the top leading pastors in Nigeria. He's known for sharing money amongst congregation. He's known for doing all different kinds of generous things, you know, in front of people, in which the Bible tells you that if you do something, just roughly paraphrasing, if you do something with your right hand, don't let your left hand know. You know, these people are hypocrites, man. And this is a very famous pastor in Nigeria. His name is Pastor Jeremiah Omo, Omoto um, Fufeng. Okay. So you see, <laughs> these are the people, uh, people, um, the, the so-called Negroes, okay, who are the sons of Israel. Okay. These are the people that they take as, um, as um, what do you call it? These are the people that, they, that, that lead them, you know. Now, let's get a quick scripture. Then we'll go back to some of the things that he said there. How can the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahshai give the keys of David to such a clown, man? This man right here is a clown, you know, is a clown. Because first of all, the name Jesus that he's calling is a Renaissance name. The letter J wasn't in existence until 1524 by an Italian man named Jean Tricino. And we know that our savior is of the tribe of Judah, a Hebrew Israelite, and therefore has a Hebrew Israelite name. Okay, the name Jesus is Greek and has nothing to do with our Savior. Okay, it's a de detrimental demonic name that wouldn't give you um, any breakthrough into understanding the truth. Okay, and this man is praying so he can, he can help people have money, he can help, help people, you know, get pregnant back so their businesses can move, you know. But the scripture tells you to pray for the kingdom to come, you know, because right now, we are actually under the rulership of the wicked, which is written in the book of um, Job, the ninth chapter. It says, oh. Khan, this is the book of Job, the ninth chapter, 24th verse. It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It covereth the faces of the judges thereof, if not where and who he is. Now, we're meant to pray for the kingdom of heaven to come, which is going to be ruled by our savior, Yahweh Shai. That's what our prayer should be, praying for his kingdom to come so he can come and make, um, take away these um, wicked rulers from, from power and, you know, righteousness and justice can rule upon, can reign upon the earth. But you see, our people are really blind. You know, they, they follow such men because they do uh, certain generous things in their sight. And they are carried away by these things. Uh, people are really blind to the truth. They don't know what's going on. Because in 2022, and you're still a Christian, and you're still going to these churches, man, you're in for a rude awakening. Christianity in itself as a religion is as wicked as Hindu. It's as wicked as Buddh Buddhism. It's as wicked as every other religion, you know. And we know that the Bible is written for and by the sons of Israel, okay. And we have laws and statutes in which we're meant to follow. Ours is not a religion, okay? Ours is a heritage, okay? It's a thing that we're meant to, 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 it's meant to be part of us, you know? So we're meant to come out from all these different religions because they don't have the truth. Anyone who's coming to you and not teaching you the true name of the Most High, whose true name is Yahweh, and, and the true name of his only begotten son, who's our mediator between us and the Father, his true name is Yahweh Shai. Anyone that is not teaching you this is not teaching you the truth, okay? So now, let's quickly get a scripture here in the book of Matthew 15, verse 14. It says, it says, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. And that's exactly the situation in which, you know, our brothers, um, our brothers in, in, in Africa who find themselves in Africa who are scattered around Africa, you know, after 70 AD, there was an invasion of the Romans that caused the dispersion of the sons of Israel. They had to flee for their lives and they, they found themselves in all different parts of the world, but a huge number fled down to Africa. Now they believe all these blind leaders, man. They believe men like this. How can, how can you be so foolish to believe such a man, you know? Look, 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 just take a look, man. This is this is what they put right before you, and they promote it as. What just look. happened? What happened to you? And what is happening? Yes. What's happening?
When you pack the mud, uh, to do so what? I carry the mud to the, the mud to the, the mud. To the man. Then, and that's the pastor right there that you saw at the beginning of the video this is this is his congregation you see this is a congregation of the dead man this is a congregation of zombies you know all these things are all put together you know but our people are so damn man our people are so blind and brainwashed let's get another scripture this is the book of isaiah isaiah 9 and verse 16 it says for the leaders of these people cause them to err and they that are led of them are destroyed you know the leaders of these people cause them to err and if you check out the word err it tells you in in the hebrew it is taw, tawab okay it says to err wander go astray stagger okay of intoxication of sin of wandering and that's exactly what these people, they do, you know. They get you spiritually intoxicated, man. Because this thing that they teach you that, oh, you need to pray so you can make it. You know, there is a witch that is that is making you not prosper in life. You know, there is a witch that is, that is that's tied you with, with the knots. Damn, man, you really need to wake up from all these things. You know, you're going through all the problems that you go through because there is a curse on you. Go and read the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. If you read that book, then you will understand what's going on, okay? Because there are laws and statutes given, okay? And we signed um, these laws and statutes with our blood. That's written in the book of Exodus, the 24th chapter, the 8th verse. And now, if you break these commandments according to the book of Deuteronomy 28, 15, there are certain consequences that are going to fall upon you, you know? You shall, you, 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 there are lots of courses. So I would, I'd really advise you to go read the whole book of Deuteronomy 28. So forget all this madness that these churches, they tell you that, ah, there is a witch that's doing you. No, you know, you're, you're suffering, you're catching all hell because, uh, because you, you wandered out of the way of, of, of light, you know, you wandered into the way of darkness, you know, and gross darkness has covered the, the world, man. And this is, this is, this is, Khan, this is the book of Isaiah 62. It says, for behold, darkness shall cover the earth. And that darkness represents ignorance, man. Thick ignorance. It says, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But Yahweh shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be sent upon thee. Now, if the most I... If the most hey, pardon me. I had a phone call that just cut the video. So as I was saying, you know, the earth is covered by darkness, you know, which represents uh, ignorance, you know. But if the most high wakes you up, if you're listening to this truth that we're teaching, you know, and you, you feel in your heart that this truth that we're teaching is truth and you accept it, then the most high has woken you up from that thick darkness, man, you know. But, you know, majority of our people are actually walking in this thick darkness, man. They, they can't come out. That's why they listen to such people. Now, it says, for the leaders of these people cause them to err. And they are led of them. And, and they that are led of them are destroyed. So, if you're following these churches and these pastors, they are all false. You're being led astray. And destruction is coming your way. Because you've had all the old time to understand and seek for this truth. Now, this is the book of Matthew, the 23rd chapter and the 24th verse, which quotes, Ye blind guides, which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel, you know, because these men, they are blind guides, man, you know, they tell you to do certain things. They tell you not to do certain things in which day they, they are doing worse behind the curtains, you know, that's what these pastors are doing, man. Many of these pastors, in order for them to, to get to certain positions, you know, they take different hoods, they do different kinds, they're part of different kinds of secrets, secrets, cults, you know, in which they do all different kinds of satanic things. So, you see, this is the man right there. Just take a look at him, man. This is this is really crazy. This is really crazy how, how he's going to mount a video and put all these graph, graphics on it, you know. Where is it, you know? mount a video like this and put all these stupid graphics on it you know 
found in heaven people would believe and whatever you look people would believe that you know he's been given the key of david <laughs> he's been given the key of david how how man you know <laughs> our people are really foolish man they're sottish children just like the book of jeremiah says let me get the book of um first timothy first timothy the sixth chapter the third verse it says if any man teach otherwise and consent not to woesome words even the words of our lord yahweh shai amashiach and to the doctrine which is according to godliness in fact this doctrine that we're teaching is the doctrine of peace you know those who have been oppressed all this while they need someone to come redeem them back they need a savior and that savior is yahweh shai the sacrifice has been done the door is opened the door of mercy is open for you to repent right now you know so when it comes back it's going to establish a new kingdom the wicked are going to put away and it's going to establish a new kingdom in this kingdom those who have been oppressed in this kingdom that we're living right now in the new kingdom they're going to be the kings and the rulers of the kingdom to come this is the beautiful this is the beautiful gospel of, of, of which we're teaching you know this, the so-called Negroes, the Native Americans, and the Latinos, these are the sons of Israel that are being carried away captives in different parts of the world, okay? And the so-called white man that's ruling, that's in power today, the banking families, those are the seeds of the devil, okay? Now, when the people hear the devil, they get crazy, man. And devil doesn't mean anything other than a, a liar, a calumniator, you know, a deceiver. It's a man. It's a metaphor used for a man. You know, we've done various lessons on that. If you need some more understanding on that, you can drop a comment. So it says, and these people, what they do is they come in to teach a, a gospel. They come in to teach a doctrine that has nothing to do with the real doctrine. Then, you know, they tell you pray so you can succeed in life. Pray so you can get a beautiful job. You can do this. You can do that. You know, in which, you know, we're told not to think of what we're going to eat tomorrow. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't work or you shouldn't do anything. You know, we, we work. You know, but we walk, we walk also by faith that the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is going to provide for us, is going to get us the right jobs that we need to look for, you know. But these people they put this money thing, they put it at the center of their old doctrine. As a matter of fact, here in the book of Proverbs, I think it's the twentieth chapter, but let's see. Khan. This is the book of Proverbs, the 23rd chapter, the fourth verse. It says, Labor not to be rich, seize from thine own wisdom. Has any of these pastors ever preached such doctrine? No, because they don't want you people to get that, you know? They don't teach such things, you know? <laughs> they only teach you, oh, pray so you get money, and so you will you know, release you from the bondage that you are. You have some witches that are preventing you from getting rich. Go read the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. You understand what's going on. Now, verse 4, it says, if, uh, verse 3, it says, If any man teach otherwise and consent not to woesome words, because these words that we're teaching right now, these are the woesome words, man. You know, let's look up the word woesome, strongs. It says, who gaino, and it says, to be sound, to be well, to be good in health. Metaphor of Christians whose opinion are free from any mixture of error of one who keeps the graces and is strong, you know. So your, your doctrine needs to not needs to be healthy, man, free from error. But the doctrines that these men are teaching are very, very erroneous. First of all, they don't teach you the right name of the Most High and our Messiah, Savior, Yahweh Shai, you know. Then they teach you all kinds of wicked doctrines that come from the from the Roman Vatican about hell, about um, the, the virgin birth and all these different kinds of things. These are not sound doctrines. Now they teach you also to, to celebrate the Christmas, to celebrate the Easter, in which all this goes back to pagan worships, you know. Now, verse, verse 4 says, He is proud, knowing nothing but doting about questions and strives of words. Whereof commit envy, strife, railing, evil sub, um, submission, perverse disputings of men of corrupt mind and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness, from such withdraw thyself. You know? And these men, man, they're they are, they are, they are all about gain, man. Now, if you put, if I put his name and say, um, um, 
let me see what these men are rich men they they, they they be cruising in in private jets and all that they have you see his net worth is eight million dollars just imagine man this is the pastor preaching in the ghettos man you know <laughs> you see this is a pastor this, these are these are the top pastors of nigeria this one already died the most i took his ass you know because he's a false prophet man and the most is coming for the rest of this man you know they are all false prophets they be going around in jets building universities their members cannot afford to 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 attend you know these are the men that are leading this, this is the the pastor right there i told you it definitely has a pri private jet you see it definitely has a private jet because this these men they be balling on all the people man their congregations are poor as hell they collect their tidings and all that you know so you see you people need to wake up and open your eyes because you know the most i don't don't the most is not dealing with such men this is the book of jeremiah this is the book of jeremiah the fifth chapter the 31st verse it says it says the prophets prophesy falsely and the priest bear rule by their means and my people love it love to have it so and what will ye do in the end thereof our people love to have it so that is fake prophets you know they, they rule over them you know as long as you know they don't they don't they don't they don't tell them of their errors you know as long as they keep they, they tell them those um those doctrines that are that are that are smooth you know just like as it's written here um smooth Can. this is the book of isaiah the 30th chapter the 10th verse it says we um let me let me start from first now this is the, the, the book of isaiah the 30th chapter from verse 9 it says that this is a rebellious people speaking of the children of israel okay lying children children that will not hear the law of the most high Shai, which say to the seers See not unto the prophet, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceit, you know. And this is exactly what our people are, you know. They don't they're not ready, they're not ready for sound doctrine, man. They want, they want, they want that's why it's written here: the prophet prophesy falsely, and the priest bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. And what will you do in the end thereof, you know? Some people just, you know, they enjoy going to that church, you know, go, go going to, to, to do all different kinds of madness in church, man. You know, I remember when I was young, when I would, I would attend some certain churches, you know, my auntie would take me to, to what do you call it? The CAC, man. Then you see all the madness in that church, people screaming, shouting, jumping like mad people, you know, giving you headache, man. You know, there is nothing, there is nothing, you know, holy about all that. That's just psycho madness man you know yeah how shy teaches you how to pray he says if you want to pray you should close yourself behind the door and speak to your father in private you know stop being like the hypocrites that pray outside loud screaming letting all people other people know what they're praying about these churches are hypocrisy man you know and if you're still going to church in 2022 believing in these pastors calling on the name jesus you know, you're in for a rude awakening. The most I, Yahweh, Hashem, Shai will destroy you. This is the book of Jeremiah. The 14th chapter, the 14th verse. Like this one real good. It says, Then Yahweh said unto me, The prophet prophesied lies in my name. I sent them not. Neither have I commanded them. Neither speak unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their hearts, you know? So you see, these prophets, they be prophesying lies unto the people, you know, using the, you, you, using using that cloak of holiness, you know, their outward appearance, you know, trying to seem like, oh, they care about you, they love you, they do this, they do that. Now, I have something else on deck. This is a site that was sent to me by the brother in Nigeria, um, the GMS Nigeria. And really funny. It says 29 funniest 
Nigerian church posters that will make you laugh till you cry. Man, this is not really funny, man. This is to cry. And when I was in Nigeria, you see all these posters all around the places, man. You know? Just take a look at this poster right here. It says, give me a spouse or I die. You know, that's, that's <laughs> you see, inviting people. Saturday, 16th, February 2013, God House International. Singles and young adults meeting. Just imagine, man. <laughs> that's what people go to church for. You know, this one says, true worshippers ministry, operation point and kill. <laughs> Oh, goodness. It says 30 days of explosive prayer and fasting. Just imagine, man. These people are mad. It says how to identify a witch, man. <laughs> it says operation point and kill. Man, who did this to you people, man? Who did this to you? It says three days, three day, three day midnight of war. And that's the pastor right here, right there having a photo with a catapult. It says point and kill. Then they put a picture of a cat to represent the witch. Man, what the fuck is wrong with those people, man? You know, you really need to break. You see, this one says prison break. That's the name of his crusade. Look at the clowns right there. Just take a look at the clowns. All of them bare shaved, you know, without any beds on their face. Do they even know that the, past, uh, the, the Bible speaks of, of a man shaving his beard and lining up his head? Do they know that it's a sin? These people don't know because they are false prophets. They are blind men, man. They don't understand shit, you know. He says, leave me and let me drive my car. So these ones, they are, they are praying to, for. they want to hold a crusade. He says, who is monitoring my life? That man. And everything goes about, they will tell you, oh, there is a member of your family who is plotting evil against you. That person is a witch. You need to do this. You need to do that. Look at them, all bald face, taking off their beds, you know? These are not men of the most high. Just take a, take a look at this fully mature grown man with no brain. He says, no more shit. That's the name. He says, five days of bringing heaven on earth. Man, you can't do shit. You can't bring heaven on earth. It's the son of Yah, uh, it's the son of the most high, Yahweh, that's going to bring heaven back. You see, this one says, NTA channel, Jesus, New Testament assembly worldwide, you know? What the fuck is wrong with the people? And you can keep going. You see, this one says, this beautiful sister must marry, you know? So this one is only is doing a, a crusade for the sisters, you know? You can see him, no beards or nothing, you know? These people are all false and mad, man. We can keep going on and on. And these are the people that our people are following, man. They're all drunk out of, you know, this madness that these people are spilling. This is the book of Lamentation, the second chapter, the 14th verse. It says, Thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee, and they have not discovered thine iniquity to turn away thy captivity, but have seen for thee false burden and causes of banishment. And this is exactly what the situation is, man. They are not, they've seen foolish and vain things for thee, and they've not told you what the problem is, the true problem. Yeah, the true problem is what we tell you right here. The true problem is you're under a curse, you know? And that curse is going to be broken once you start calling on the true name of the Most High, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, okay? That curse is going to be broken, you know? Because we're told if we, if, we, if we follow these commandments, these are the blessings that will come. And if we refuse to follow these commandments, these are the curses that will come. Now, I'm not pushing the commandments on your neck. Because we can't keep all the commandments 100%, okay? Because we're actually still in captivity by, uh, by, by, by the wicked, okay? So certain commandments, we can't, we can't put them to the best of our ability and we can't keep them, okay? But all we have to do is to keep these commandments to the best of our ability, man, and hoping and calling on the true name of our, of our Savior, Yahweh Shai, you know? Do, going out, teaching His word, you know, doing this work, you know, keeping it serious, man, studying, you know, because the Bible tells you to study to show thyself approved. These are the ways you're going to break those courses, man. But these men are not telling you all that, you know. It says, thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee, and they have not discovered thine iniquities. They haven't told you about thine iniquities. They haven't told you that uh, there are some courses, if you read the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, you know, 
They haven't told you the reason why you find yourself in the situation you find yourself, you know? They haven't told you that there, there, there is a time of redemption and there is a time of destruction coming very soon to the earth in which you really need to repent, you know? It says, to turn away thy captivity, but I've seen for thee false burdens and cause, causes of banishment, you know? So this is the situation with our people. Um, you can go read the book of um, Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter. Let me just get a few verses from it. Um, let's go down. Well, this is this is um, this scripture right here is speaking about you know these false pastors and false prophets. It says, "Woe be unto the, the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture," said Yahweh. How do they destroy and scatter the sheep? By feeding them on sound doctrine. That is how they destroy and scatter the people. You know, they play on the ignorance of Jake. You know, they, when I say Jake, I actually means the sons of, I mean the sons of Jacob. You know, they play on the ignorance of these people and, and they do all this madness, man, teaching them all kinds of foolishness. You know, this is verse 23. It says, I am, am I a God at hand, said Yahweh, and not a God afar off? Can any hide himself in secret place that I shall not see him? Said Yahweh. Do not I feel heaven and earth? Said Yahweh. I have heard what the prophet said that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. You know, he says, How long shall this be in the heart of the prophet that prophesy lies? Yeah, they are prophets of deceit of their own earth, of their own heart. Okay, so man, <laughs> he says, which thing to cause my people to forget my name? Hey, listen, what were we speaking about the name? It says, let me start again from verse 20. It says, how long shall this be in the heart of the prophet that prophesy lies? Yeah, they are prophets of the deceit of their own hearts. Which thing to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what your pastors are doing man you see he did that video you know and lots of people in certain rural parts of nigeria who don't really understand about video editing they're going to fall for this crap that this man just did right here with the thunder the sky changing they'll be like oh do you see what that man did man he got the the keys from heaven you know this man is not teaching you the name, the true name of the Most High. They're making you forget the true name of the Most High, telling you to believe in them. They can pray for you. They can heal you from all this, whatever that's wrong with you. That's what they do, you know? It's all about your money, man. You see, the scripture also tells you, man, in the book of Jeremiah right here. Let me see. I can't remember. It says, Sottish. You know? This is the book of Jeremiah, the fourth chapter, 22, so the second verse. It says, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are, a sort, they are sottish children. Now, the word sottish means foolish. It says, They are sottish children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. That is our situation, man. That's the situation of the sons of Israel. Now, let me cover, let me end this lesson with one last scripture this is the book of john john 3 hey i'm not going to 16 i'm going to 19. <laughs> oh this is john 3 19 it says and this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil you know for everyone that doeth evil, it is the light, neither come to the light, lest his deed should be reproved. You know, what we're trying to teach you, the light is Yahweh Shai. And like Yahweh Shai is the, is the truth, okay? And we are his servants. We are bringing out this truth, you know, showing you that, hey, this is the way to go. Stop attending these churches. Come out of religion, any dumb religion that you are in. Re-embrace back your heritage, which is these laws and statues, man. You know, re embrace back your heritage as being a Hebrew Israelite. That's what you are. You know, pray to the true name of the Most High, Yahweh, and his son, Yahweh Shai. Seek for his truth, man. Feed your spirits. This is what we're telling you. You know, 
But these people, they are sottish, just like we read. They are foolish. They, they, they are slow to do good, but quick to do evil. So if you're a Nigerian, a Ghanaian, you know, a Cameroonian, you know, Senegal, wherever you are in Africa, South Africa, you know, and you're still going after this mad Who's pastors, on earth will be lose in, in heaven. Go and give it to my children. As they follow your instructions, they will succeed and testify. Lord, I thank you. That's that's your favorite pastor right there, man. That's just a dumb comedian, man. Hey, wake your punk ass up, man. You know, excuse my hard languages, but man, you should wake up, man. This is 2022, you know. <laughs> All hell is about to break loose, you know. Those who are ruling you, you know, they're preparing some wicked hell down for you. You should be calling on the true name of the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai to protect you in the time of those troubles instead of following these madmen. These are madmen, man. This is a madman right here. You know, he and the rest of his colleagues, all those pastors that you see right there, you know, they are all madmen. Just take a look at this one. You know, it says, this is Winners Chapel Church. It's a very known church. It says, Home of Champions. Just imagine, man. It says, festival fire. Oh God, now like this we go day day. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Oh. Auntie, wait till I do you. <laughs> oh, just please pardon me, but this is this is really funny, man. You know, that's the madness going on, and these are the people our people are going after, man. So, hey, I'm going to close this lesson. The point was brought out, you know. Just check check out this one. This is a pastor. It says, attend Dr. Freeman's church apart from you. It says, all the hot girls in Lagos, you know, join this Sunday. Come early because they know these girls, they attract people to, to their churches. Just imagine what this one is doing, man, with no beards and just look. And this is who you call a pastor, man. You say, I don't tire for this nonsense. You know, that that's that's fair enough. You know, I will not leave Lagos empty-handed. Check out these are the these are the pastors ruling over you, man. Run for your life, International Chapel. <laughs> it's not bad. You say, "Kuku ku, ku, kere gospel, pure ku kere gospel hits, dance ku kere whatever." That's that's. It says radical, radical for Jesus, you know, holding a machete right there. It's, this one it says Koboko Knight. Hey, hopefully this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh by Shemi Shai. The name of the Most High is Yahweh, and the true name of his son is Yahweh Shai. If you need any explanation or any breakdown, more understanding on certain things, you can drop a comment, you know. Or you can go to the channel and watch the videos, you know, there are numerous videos of things we've already touched on, you know. So you might whatever you're looking for might already be on the video. So hopefully you are edified. I'd like to give all praises to the most high Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharuka Kadash. Until the next one. Shalom.